um, if you see me, I've been stressing out because I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to make this dress. This is my first gown ever. I've never made a dress before. Every night. All the time. Good morning, YouTube. I just woke up. I've been up all night editing videos and I literally pulled an all-nighter, saw the sun come up, and I was like, I'm going to bed. But I was awakened by the DHL delivery driver and guess what came in? For so what I ordered specifically was basically like the outer shell of the dress. It is a red Ankara fabric, so I don't know. It looked cute online. I couldn't really go in a store and look at, you know, Ankara fabric because, you know, my location. Oh my gosh. So I wanted to buy the outer shell of the dress first before I started buying, like, the tool and, you know, the lining fabric and stuff because I want it to match. I'm still questioning, like, what I want to design it as, but I know I want, like, a long like train gown. Here's what it looks like in the package. See color for reference. <laughs> like I'm shooting a makeup thing or whatever. But I mean, it's brighter than what I saw online. But honestly, I really love the color. The color red on me is like amazing. I love warm tones on me. Got this fabric off of AliExpress. This color's really bright, but I actually love it. Um, I still don't know what I want to do with it. I don't know if I want to jewel it. I need some. I need something that's gonna make it pop. But I feel like I can't do that until I actually make the dress to see what I need to add. But you can see here, that it is a. Guaranteed real Dutch wax block print printed in Holland. So this is like authentic Ankara fabric. So I ordered um, about six yards. Well, not about, I ordered six yards. Yeah, I just wanna show you guys my fabric. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for like two weeks. And usually, you know, with AliExpress, like it takes a long time to get your orders, which is so annoying, but Honestly, I'm glad this actually came in two weeks and not in two months. Considering that it's August 17th and my final walk is September 5th. So I literally have like, I'm not good at math, but probably like 15 days or a little over 15 days to finish my gown. And I've never made a gown before. So I'm excited. I know I look bested, but I can't wait. Hey guys, so I'm back. I am on my way to Joann's today to see if I can find some lining fabric. Um, I usually don't have the best luck with Joann's. I'm not really a fan of like their fabric selection sometimes. And I'd rather just order online or drive all the way down to the fashion district. So today we're gonna see if I can luck out and maybe find some good lining fabric for my um, final walk dress. I brought the fabric with me. I only bought one panel because I don't I didn't see the point of bringing the whole 12 yards But um, yeah, so you guys forgot. This is what it looks like Let's see if I look out of Joann's or I have to go to the fashion district <gasps> Oh Alright guys, so I just got back from Joann's and it looks like I'm gonna have to go to the fashion district and if I don't find anything at the fashion district then I'm gonna have to find something online hopefully. I don't know, I'm just being really picky but I think I just want an excuse to go to the fashion district. So right now, it looks like I'm gonna have to drive to LA but I'm excited, yay. I haven't been to the fashion district in like six months because of the pandemic. So this will be the first time of like being there. 
Hey guys, so today we're gonna go to the LA Fashion District to see if I can source any fabric for my final walk dress because I was having a hard time finding some in the city where I'm at. So, and also finding some online to match my dress. So let's hope that we can find some fabric in the LA Fashion District. It's a great place to source any type of fabric in person. There's a lot of textile stores there. I'm gonna try to vlog while I'm there as much as I can so you guys can see the full picture of it if you guys are not from LA or California. So I can't wait to show you guys that part of the journey. So right now I gotta drop off my orders from my online store real quick. Hey guys, so update. I know I have my mask on so if you guys can hear me, but I just picked up a bunch of fabric that I didn't need. But I mean, I'm here only once in a while, so I guess it was a good investment to buy fabric. But I got my lining fabric and some tool and some more tool for no reason, but hopefully I find a reason for it. And yeah, I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. How much I can show you? Ooh, that scared me. I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping. So, see you guys later. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Me. I don't know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know why I'm using this microphone. Uh, hello, so we're back. It's been like a week since I bought my final walk fabric. So right now I'm actually gonna start the construction of the dress. I finally figured out how I wanna design it. Um, if you see me, I've been stressing out because I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to make this dress. This is my first gown ever. I've never made a dress before. And it's for my final walk as Miss Kern County. So the pressure is on. This is my final statement as Miss Kern County. And I am freaking out. You can see I'm breaking out like crazy. Like this is gross. And I need some acne medication. That's not the point right now. The point is that I made my dress, not made my dress, I have designed my dress. See, I'm already stressing out. Started designing my dress and I kind of came up with like a little blueprint, but my dress is gonna be full on as you guys already know, because I showed you guys the fabric. And I've been struggling to find lining fabric, and honestly, I couldn't find a lining fabric that was gonna match the color of the dress. Okay, we're sitting on the couch in my atelier, AKA my living room. And this is the first design I had. I don't know what I was thinking. I kind of wanted like some swish bodice, but I was like, you know what? I'm not that advanced in sewing, so we're just gonna go to this design. I know I am not the best at sewing, but here is, well, not sewing, I'm not the best at um, drawing. So here's what I pretty much came up with. This is gonna be a sweetheart. I kind of want it almost down to like where my my stomach kind of starts because I love deep sweethearts. And I know these lines right here look like straps, but they're not. This is gonna be some bonding I'm adding. I don't know if it's called bonding or boning, but I like bonding the sounds 
makes sense to me. <laughs> so yeah, so this is gonna be the bodice. It's gonna be a sweetheart bodice with some boning to keep the structure of the dress. This is gonna be a gathered over skirt. I love this. Um, I haven't really made a full circle skirt, so I felt like this was like an easier way to still get that round skirt effect without having to measure or have like a pattern or anything like that. Um, so, and then this is gonna be like a body contrast of a dress I already have that I'm going to cut out or trace and cut out the fabric and make like a slit at the front. And then the inside, of course, that's, that's like the back or in, the inside of the skirt. I came up with a plan for the pattern pieces. Um, I hope this works. I even came up with some steps. day three of making my final walk gown um it's about it's about almost 10 o'clock at night i slept all day and um i've been watching netflix because it's been so hot so i've just been tired and neglecting my work all day so now i have my tripod got my macbook and we're gonna record me doing the first skirt so that's what I'm gonna try to finish today and then maybe also start on the tool layer so for the for the first skirt I'm gonna trace a dress I already have this is the dress that I'm gonna copy I'm probably gonna insert a picture of it but it has a slit on the side it's like a medium high slit it's not super high but I want to copy this pattern because I like the way this dress fits. It's the same material and I just don't like how short it gets, but I did get this dress at Charlotte Ruse. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna expect like a super custom fit from this dress. So I want to copy this for the first skirt of the dress and we'll see how that goes. <laughs>
but I just put the dress on the dress form and I just put the pieces on. I did some hemming of the gown itself and I'm kind of scared because I'm not sure if I measured it out accurately, but it looks pretty good so far. It's super dark in my apartment, but this is how she looks so far. Nothing is sewn together yet. I'm just gonna do piece by piece at a time, but so far so good. I love the slit. I actually decided to just make this unlined, so it's gonna be an unlined dress. So I just feel like it's gonna be too heavy, and the inside is already the Ankara, and that's just how I would like it to be for now. But if I wanna go back in and line it, I will. That's also why I haven't sewn anything. But this is just how the back looks. Probably it's gonna look a little crazy. But yeah, and this is where the zipper should be. So this is progress. I even like the dress just like this. Like this is beautiful. But for my final walk, I wanna make a statement and I want the dress to be memorable. So I gotta do the most. Now I'm watching the documentary Unwell. It's a docu-series on Netflix. Definitely check it out. And I am measuring the lining fabric for the tool and for the inside. So I hope I have enough lining fabric, which I think I do. So here's some more progress of the dress. Again, nothing is sewn. I just added some gathering. I still have the thread hanging. But I just pin everything to the dress just to see how everything looks. Sewing, yeah, I just pinned to see how this would look. And this isn't only the, this is the under layer of the overskirt. So this would be, this will be the layer where I add the tool to make it fluff out and come to life. But for my trip from the fashion district, I picked up two like bundles of tool. It is a, ooh, that's upside down. It is a 54 by 40 yards. So that's about 80 yards I have of tool. Right now I'm gonna add tool to the first layer of the overskirt. And I know this is gonna take a really long process, but I think I'm going to um, do like eight layers and gather them together, just like how I did for the black underskirt, sorry, I had to yawn real quick. Yeah, I think that'll be the best way to like make it poof out. And then I'll do about three or four layers tearing from the top. So let's see how that goes. I was able to make on this dress. It has officially infiltrated my kitchen. This dress is huge and, sorry, that's my phone case in the way, but yeah, this dress is huge and I really didn't want it to be too big, but I did see like a little, like a dent layer here because I kind of did skip like a third layer, but I think it, it's needed just because I don't want the bottom to be so fluffy and the top to like not match the ratio. So this is how it looks pinned right now. Um, afterwards, I'm gonna add like a top layer. I'm still debating on how I'm going to do that with this dress, but we're gonna see what we can do with that. All right guys, so I just finished sewing and adding the tool to the layers of the dress and I pinned it. Everything is not sewn yet. Everything right now is just being pinned onto my mannequin. I'm thinking about doing like a gathered skirt method, but I still want it to be big enough to have a train, but I don't think I'm gonna need extra fabric for a train now because the tool is so enormous. As of right now, I'm just gonna try to see if I can find like a gathered skirt pattern online. 
So, let me see. All right, so I can find a gathered skirt pattern online, but what I did is find like, like a circle skirt calculator. I've never made a circle skirt before. So I actually found this circle skirt well, you guys could see it but I just typed in circle skirt pattern or circle cir circle skirt calculator on Google and I was able to find like a website where you can literally just type in your measurements put in like how long you want to dress whether you want like a mini or a midi or a maxi and it calculates the measurements for you and how long your radius needs to be um, how many yards of fabric you need and it even shows you how to I don't think you guys can see it but it even shows you guys how to fold it so for beginner sewers like me I think this is a great tool for you guys to use I I will leave the link the, for the website in my bio so you guys can check it out so I think that'll be really helpful for a lot of beginner sewers right now I'm just gonna try to see if I can get this to cover or get an over layer to cover this dress so, wish me luck. <laughs> puzzle pieces to that pin. Sew these puzzle pieces together. Look how massive this is. Like, oh, sewing this is gonna be so difficult. It's officially Thursday, so my pageant is literally in less than 48 hours and I'm so excited and I don't think it has hit me yet that the journey is almost over so I can't wait to wear this dress today and see how it looks on me. Now here's the final look. That is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching this vlog all the way until the end please don't forget to comment your video suggestions like this video and subscribe to my channel and also follow me on social media to keep up with my journey and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video bye